Hey everyone, and welcome to our Apple Playground! Ever had that sinking feeling after downloading an app that promised the world but delivered chaos? Get ready for a roller coaster of shocking discoveries and eye opening revelations. Let's dive in and uncover the hidden dangers lurking in the shadows of the Mac App Store. Ready? Let's roll! Introduction to the Danger Before we delve into the specifics, let's talk about why some apps are better left untouched. The Mac ecosystem prides itself on security and reliability, but not all apps play by the rules. Some can wreak havoc on your system, compromising your data, performance, and even your privacy. So consider this our warning sign as we navigate through the murky world of Mac apps. Let's shine the spotlight on some notorious apps that have earned their place on our blacklist. First up, we have Advanced Mac Cleaner. This app masquerades as a useful tool for optimizing your Mac's performance, but in reality, it's nothing more than a scam. Users have reported that instead of improving their Mac's speed, it actually slows it down and bombards them with annoying pop-ups urging them to purchase the full version. Stay away from this one at all costs. Next on our list is Mac Keeper. This app promises to be an all-in-one solution for cleaning, optimizing, and securing your Mac. However, it's been widely criticized for its aggressive marketing tactics and questionable practices. Many users have reported that it not only fails to deliver on its promises, but can also cause serious harm to your Mac's performance and security. Avoid Mac Keeper like the plague and opt for more reputable alternatives instead. Another app that has raised red flags is Adware Doctor. Despite its name, this app has been found to collect browsing history and other sensitive information from users' Macs, raising serious privacy concerns. Additionally, it has been accused of deceptive practices, such as fabricating scan results to trick users into purchasing the full version. Don't fall for its misleading claims and steer clear of Adware Doctor. Now let's discuss alternatives. Swap out Advanced Mac Cleaner, Mac Keeper, and Adware Doctor with these alternatives to enhance performance and security. Instead of opting for Advanced Mac Cleaner, consider using Malware Bytes for Mac instead. The advantage is comprehensive malware detection and removal without slowing down your Mac. Clean My Mac X instead of Mac Keeper. This Mac optimization tool offers effectiveness, a user-friendly interface, and lacks aggressive marketing tactics, providing several advantages. Use CCleaner for Mac instead of Adware Doctor. The advantages of CCleaner for Mac include its reliability in cleaning up files and optimizing performance, all without intrusive ads or deceptive practices. Moving on to apps that attract malware like a magnet. An app that has a reputation for spreading malware is Transmission, a popular BitTorrent client. While Transmission itself is not malicious, it has been targeted by cyber criminals who have distributed infected versions of the app. These infected versions can contain ransomware, spyware, or other types of malware that can wreak havoc on your Mac. To stay safe, always download Transmission from the official website and keep your antivirus software up to date. Let's talk about mPlayer X. While it may seem like a harmless media player, it has a dark side. In the past, this app has been known to bundle adware and other malicious software with its installer, putting users' Macs at risk. Don't be fooled by its seemingly innocent appearance, it's better to steer clear of mPlayer X and opt for safer alternatives. Introducing Flash Player Updater, a deceptive app that preys on unsuspecting users. While Adobe Flash Player is no longer supported and should be removed from your system, this malicious imposter poses as an essential update, tempting users into downloading malware instead of genuine updates. Let's talk about some alternatives now. Use Deluge for Mac instead of Transmission, another popular BitTorrent client known for its simplicity and security. Deluge is highly customizable and offers robust protection against malware. Opt for VLC Media Player instead of mPlayer X, a widely trusted and versatile media player that supports a wide range of audio and video formats. VLC is open source and free from bundled adware or malware. 
Instead of opting for Flash Player Updater, consider doing this instead. Since Adobe Flash Player is no longer supported and poses security risks, it's best to uninstall it completely from your system. Now let's talk about apps that hog your Mac's precious resources. Adobe Acrobat Reader DC is resource intensive, especially when opening large PDF files or using advanced features like editing or annotation. This is due to its extensive feature set and background processes that consume significant CPU and memory resources. Telegram is a resource hog, particularly when running in the background and receiving a high volume of messages or media files. Constant connections to servers for real-time messaging lead to increased CPU and network usage. VirtualBox is resource-intensive, especially when running virtual machines with resource-intensive operating systems or applications. Virtualization requires significant CPU, memory, and disk resources to emulate multiple operating systems simultaneously. Alternatives Instead of opting for Adobe Acrobat Reader, consider using built-in macOS Application Preview instead. As a built-in macOS application, Preview offers basic PDF viewing and annotation features with lower resource usage compared to Adobe Acrobat Reader DC. Use Signal instead of Telegram. Signal is a privacy-focused messaging app that offers end-to-end -end encryption for messages, voice calls, and video calls with lighter resource usage compared to Telegram. Opt for VMware Fusion instead of VirtualBox. VMware Fusion is a commercial virtualization software for Mac OS that offers robust features and performance optimization for running virtual machines with lower resource usage compared to VirtualBox. Lastly, let's talk about apps that invade your privacy and put your personal data at risk. One such app is Zoom, the popular video conferencing platform. While Zoom has become essential for remote work and virtual meetings, it has faced criticism for its handling of user data and security vulnerabilities. From Zoom bombing incidents to concerns over data encryption, Zoom has raised red flags among privacy-conscious users. If you value your privacy, consider using alternative video conferencing tools with stronger privacy protections. Another app known for privacy breaches is Facebook Messenger. While convenient for staying in touch with friends and family, Messenger has come under fire for its data collection practices and lack of end-to-end -end encryption. Messages sent through Messenger can be intercepted and accessed by Facebook and third parties, compromising users' privacy. Let's talk about some alternatives now. Use Jitsi Meet instead of Zoom. Jitsi Meet is an open-source video conferencing platform that prioritizes user privacy and security. It offers end-to-end -end encryption for meetings, ensuring that communications remain private and protected from unauthorized access. Opt for Signal instead of Facebook Messenger. Signal is a privacy-focused messaging app that offers end-to-end -end encryption for messages, voice calls, and video calls, ensuring that only the intended recipients can access the content of conversations. And there you have it, folks, a closer look at some of the apps you should never install on your Mac. From scams and malware to resource hogs and privacy invaders, these apps pose serious risks to your Mac's security, performance, and privacy. By staying informed and exercising caution when downloading apps, you can protect yourself and your digital world from harm. Leave comments down below sharing your thoughts and experiences with Mac apps. Like, share, and subscribe and thanks for tuning in.